Cameron, you're preparing to deliver the world's first tutorial on 464X LAT. Why do you think this is um, necessary to be developed and delivered now? Well, the most important thing is that IPv4 is currently run out. So we need solutions that enable us to continue to deploy the network and grow the network um, without being bounded by IPv4. So the, the real opportunity here is to grow um, with the Internet of Things and the number of subscribers that we have without IPv4 and being stuck with those constraints. What's the key um, content of your tutorial? The key content today is discussing what we have done at T-Mobile USA. So at T-Mobile USA, we've deployed the 464X lab starting in October. We've launched uh, five Android handsets to date. Um, and we have about uh, three and a half million subscribers on IPv6 right now. So what we're able to do is really share um, what, it, what it is that we've done uh, so that other networks can, can follow on and, and learn from what we've done and, and being able to deliver service that is IPv6 only to the subscribers. What are your observations on T-Mobile USA's mobile networks after deploying 464XLA2? Nobody knows, nobody cares, uh, which is really the goal here. We were able to, to deploy IPv6 uh, to subscribers on high impact you know, devices like the Note 3 and the Samsung um, uh, Galaxy Lite and these, these, uh, the Nexus 5. So we deployed IPv6 and really nobody knows and nobody cares, which you know, to an IPv6 evangelist is a little bit sad, but at the same time, that's the goal. We need to deploy IPv6 to uh, consumers, to subscribers, without them really knowing. The, the internet, the things that they that matter most to them, Facebook and Twitter, all these things just work. So what do you think about the future of ISPs and mobile network operators considering the robust increase of always on mobile devices connecting to the internet? Right, so it, all, it comes down to uh, you know, some, some buzzwords that, that are familiar today like cloud and internet of things. Um, and cloud is, is scaling up tremendously, internet of things is scaling up tremendously, and all of these things, they have to grow on IPv6. Uh, IPv4 cannot accommodate the scale required just for the normal growth that we have today, let alone the exponential growth that is required by the Internet of Things and cloud scaling. 